Okay, well I call this one Aces in a Million. The uh, reason why will become apparent in just a short time. I would normally encourage somebody to go through the entire deck and take out the four aces to make sure that there are only four aces in this deck. I've already gone ahead and done that for prosperity. But they do get to get a good close-up look of the deck in their own hands, so on and so forth. In fact, throughout the entire time, take some view and take the four aces, and they get lost for random positions in the deck. If you clearly see this, they're not all next to each other. They are in four random locations in the deck. And they get all pushed in, and the deck gets shuffled, briefly. And I'll ask them to cut. Okay, anyway, the back, and we just mark exactly where they've cut. Now the concept is that we're going to find those four aces. Uh, they're in a deck, and it's four decks, so there are 52 cards. Now think of the odds of this actually taking place. If you were to find one of those four aces in a 52 stack, that's a four in 52 chance. Uh, so 52 divided by four is 13, so that's one in 13 of finding one of those four aces. You take that ace out, and if you were to try and find one of the remaining three, it's 51 cards in there. So 3, 51, if you divide up, it's 1 in 17. That's a bit, a bit longer odds. It gets tricky after that. Uh, you've then got two aces left in a 50 card stack. So 50 cards, chances of two. Uh, I don't think you need to be a mouse genius to work that out. It's 1 in 25. The last one's very obvious. You have to find one ace in a stack of 49 cards. So that's clearly a 1 in 49 chance. Now that sounds pretty long odds, 1 in 49, but what you've got to remember is we wanted to do this all at once. So that's a 1 in 13, a 1 in 17, a 1 in 25, and a 1 in 49. If you put this all together, it's something like 1 in 275,750. About a quarter of a million, roughly, 250,000. Um, so as there are four of them, four quarters make a whole, that's why I call it aces in a million. We'll get right into it. So, like I say, they cut to a random point. They're like, we've marked where they've cut to. And then we just have a look there, and they actually managed to find one of the aces. The, uh, the second, that was a 1 in 13 chance. The next one's a 1 in 17. That's a bit trickier, so I was actually going to take that one on. And that would uh, be rather really helpful. I think it's about there. Is that an ace? Yes, it is. Oh, my word. Look at that. So that's a 1 in 17 chance. Now, next you've got 2 in 50, so that's a 1 in 25. But if you're given two attempts at it, it's really one in twelve and a half. Now, as my helper, you've already managed a one in thirteen. I think twelve and a half should be pretty easy for you to pull off. So by all means, grab one of those aces and just put it anywhere you like in there, face up with this ace, uh, to about half its length, so we can see where it's gone. About there's fine. Now the, the concept being that one of the cards, either above or below it, should be an ace. You've got two attempts here. So the first question I'm going to ask is: Is the one above it an ace? No. Okay. Well, you get two attempts. So Get rid of that, get the ace out of the way. Was the one below it an ace? When you know it, it certainly is. So that's not too bad there. Although I did give you two chances, so in order to keep the averages up, you should really find the last one one-handed. That's actually exactly what I'm going to attempt to do here. So, uh, one-handed, let's cut somewhere about there. Well, I can already see this. Aces in a million. 